This is Dantes. He plays on an A and came to the Brazilian Super Server just to discover that we play a little different. Why is the enemy support top level one? The fuck? Guys, why the fuck is the enemy support top level one? Fuck off, man! What is this shit? <laughs> I became a fan of his since the first time I saw a random clip. I pretty much identified myself with the guy. He also loses his mind when someone pings him. You just gotta land a singular ability, bro. A SINGLE ABILITY! Fuck! Are you and he pings me? Just like me, he uses analogies to express himself. Imagine you have a fucking person who wants to become a doctor and they have to do group team presentations. And they have to do 10 of them over the course of a semester to determine whether or not they'll be able to be a doctor, right? Imagine that person in every single group presentation is, has teammates that not only do nothing, but they erase all his work. And then because of all of his work getting erased, that man is not able to become the best doctor. Imagine what that would do to that man. <laughs> would you call him crazy if he lost his mind? <laughs> he also thinks better when he's walking back and forth. It's like I love when people sit there and say, It's just a game, dude! <laughs> it's just a game! It's just a game, dude! It's just a game! Why are you losing your mind, bro? It's just a game! Yeah, it's just a fucking game! It's just a game! I spent 10 minutes in queue, 30 minutes in game. This game is my life. I walked for hours playing in this video. So the least you can do is live a life. Did you saw what I did there? He also have a goth Latina girlfriend. No. You gotta sit down here. It's like they came like that from the factory with the tattoos and the temper. Listen, listen, listen. A man without a goth Latina girlfriend is just a boy. But the difference is, mine is not 15. I just turned 15. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Oh, shit. Okay, but in game though, right? All right, so we said in game, so we're good now. She's 23. Fuck off, man. You want to talk I'm not 23. Yes, shut up. No, no, no. So, to explain you the gameplay of the best hacker in, in the world, I have to temporarily act like Dantes. The songs will be hard style and they'll be a little bit crazy. Dude, I already lost my mind today. I'm coming from a 12 game losing streak. So, start this gameplay already before I smash my keyboard into my head until I start bleeding! In game, of course. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Dude, I swear to God, the supports and the junglers on this region are the worst. This fucking Soraka is pinging to invade against a Pike and a Draven. It's 30 seconds into the game and I'm already triggered. Like, what is she thinking? She didn't even have a sweeping lens. You could be sitting on a ward right now. Pike could be on that bush. It's like Dante's once said and I quote, Playing in Brazil is like, you are surrounded by crazy people, right? So crazy becomes the norm. And they are all gaslighting you into thinking, YOU ARE THE CRAZY ONE! Despite Soraka not being the sharpest knife in the drawer, Dantes decides to path bot. First of all, bot lane is OP, right? It's like, win bot, win game. And second, the enemy top laner is an Anivia, it's a nightmare to gank. Rek'Sai is trying to invade, but what the fuck did he expect from a Nivea level 1? Three people on display. No one thought about it and called it off. Action and Anivia are fighting, and Rek'Sai is farming the chickens. What an ugly game. Brazil, the region with the most diehard esports fan base, also has the worst solo queue. How is it possible? that the high elo players don't even take it serious. As somebody that has played on four different regions, I'm telling you, this is by far the worst solo queue experience. By far. The thing you have to understand about Dantes is, he's an aggressive jungler, a proactive one. He will make plays happen, he will take control of the game. So when he's ahead, he will brute force the game to end. Counter ganking a Rex side with a pike and a Draven wasn't a good idea. Are you serious? 
Yes, it's fun. The mindset is force a play to happen, cause if you don't, the allies and the enemies will do it for you. Rek'Sai were only with the red buff, so that means she did 3 camps into ganking bot. I hate Rek'Sai's play, because it's so easy to counter. Dantes left base and went straight to her jungle. What if she's there? Dantes spent his gold, and she didn't. He would 100% win that fight. And if she's not there, she will lose her jungle camps. After stealing Rome, Dantes dove the Anivia. They exchanged the kills, but like I said, Dantes only wants to get ahead. He went for the revenge on Draven. Rex I were bought to the counter gank, but it didn't matter. This is what he tried to do the first time. Lucky bastard, survived with like 1 HP. One thing I know for sure, this spike and Draven won't stop overextending. Neither this action, he's on a ranged versus melee matchup, he has pressure on Irelia. I bet he won't stop pushing the wave until Hecarim becomes legendary. Look where Pike and Draven are. At this point, this guy's became a jungle camp. He's like, Wolves, Blue, Gromp, Pike. He tries to farm his camps, but it's like the enemies have a death wish. Rex Cyber chasing Jinx into the jungle. Pike is a riding bot, but Dunts don't seem to care. He only didn't kill all three because Zaction was missing. He got three losing lanes, the worst nightmare for a jungler. The game seems to be fine, it's 9 and 8, but all the kills are his. He played this game on his last day on Brazil. He were close to challenger, so he kept going. He did a 29 hours long live stream. Congratulations for the challenger, by the way. With Action and Pike dead, Rek'Sai started Dragon. The junglers here on Brazil are completely disconnected from reality, I swear to god, dude. Or these guys are trolling, or they don't have a clue about how jungle works. And yet, they are Hilo. You just did Dragon, look where Draven is. If you had R, Draven will be dead. The Void Grubs are spawning, and there's a play happening bot. Action is bot, and instead of pushing the wave, I rarely recalled, and Anivia did the worst choice possible. She came to the river as soon as we were done with the Grubs. Raul Bon Anivia! This guy is the best Anivia on the server. He got to challenge her playing Anivia top. Deserves his own video, by the way. After the Grubs, Dantes did Harold, but look how he used it. He crashed the eye on his own jungle, then ran it down mid for the turret. He didn't need the Herald to destroy this tower. What he will do will be absolute cinema. He destroyed the tower by his own and then rode the Herald to go away. Didn't work so well. Raul is too good. But that was a nice fucking try. This play reminded me of Sam KZ. Dragon is up, Jinx is completely lost, Ilawi is just leaving the base, Irelia is dead, and Dantes started the dragon like it was his all along. The allies have to react on what he's doing, and not the other way around. The dragon is dead and only now his team did something to help. Rek'Sai don't learn from her mistakes, she's invading Dantes again. Now she will get violated. In game, Dantes stole all her shit. And yet again, Draven and Pike are overextended. But can someone please explain to me why the f Fuck, there are five enemies on that bush! Basic fundamentals aren't known. Basic fundamentals. Basic macro isn't known. Nobody knows how to side lane. It's crazy. It's insane. Look who's in the river alone again. Raul. Killing this Anivia is a hundred percent Nashers. Everyone went bot to stop Irelia. Uh-huh, Rek'Sai, uh-huh. 
you are going to steal Baron. Uh huh. Every time you are going to. The crazy thing is, you are watching this game and maybe thinking, it's easy. Out of that 25 kills, 18 are on Hacker. If Dantes dies, it's ace. But he's not afraid of it. He's so strong, he's face checking bushes. He just don't care. He has 7,000 gold on Rek'Sai. More than 100 CS, four levels. It's a completely jungle gap. Now you understood what I said about brute forcing the game to end. There were no response from the enemy team. He dropped 21 kills on a game with 3 losing lanes. This is how the best hacker in the world plays the game. Hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, see you on the next one. Later, bitch!